Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So as I had been posting last week, Microsoft rolled out their latest Canary Channel build 26040, which was a jam-packed build and had plenty of features that Microsoft is testing that, as I've mentioned, could possibly roll out with the 24H2 feature update for Windows 11 later this year, because in effect, the Canary Channel is where Microsoft is testing features that could be part of that next annual feature update. Now, the next feature we're going to look at is voice clarity. And this is a big change because uh, in Bolt 26040, voice clarity now will work on PCs without neural processing units, also called NPUs for short. Now, as many of you may know, um, NPUs were only used on select surface and were available on select surface hardware. But now with this recent change, that's no longer the case. And um, just a brief background on NPUs. As mentioned, they stand for neural processing units and are optimized chips that are designed um, more for artificial intelligence, AI. And um, AI can work on NPUs uh, better than a CPU or a GPU, as many of you may know. But because of this, it doesn't actually mean that you have to have an NPU to use some AI feature. So this is where the voice clarity, now this feature is coming into um, fruition in the Canary channel where Microsoft has said now that they are expanding voice clarity which has been available on Surface devices as mentioned and making it available to more people. Now just a bit of a brief background on this voice clarity feature which we could expect to see roll out with the 24H2 feature update. It's a feature that enhances your audio experience on Windows with uh, what Microsoft calls state-of-the-art AI technology. It's also powered by low-complexity AI models. So voice clarity cancels echo, suppresses background noise, and reduces reverberation in real time. So it's basically using AI to suppress your background noise and reduce reverberation, and that's all taking place in real time using AI. Now, Microsoft says that this feature is enabled by default and can be utilized by applications using communications signal processing mode, such as the phone link app, on Windows uh, 10 and Windows 11, and WhatsApp. So that means if you are using Phone Link and WhatsApp, um, your voice clarity, when and if this feature does roll out with version 24H2, should be a lot better. Now, Microsoft does say that no additional hardware is required, as voice clarity is supported on 64-bit and ARM64 CPUs. Apps which use communications signal processing mode do not need any additional modifications, and voice clarity, they say, will work for them automatically when the OEM, that's your original equipment manufacturer device, does not offer communications mode processing. They also say that obviously if you are a gamer, you also benefit from this because PC games that use communications uh, signal processing mode for their online communications will also benefit from voice clarity and applications can provide a toggle for the deep noise suppression stream effect to switch between AI models for voice only communications and generic audio content and microsoft says that with voice clarity you can and basically know that your voice will be clearly heard during online meetings and enjoy smoother and more effective online communication so this is quite a big feature and was one of the key highlights um, that was available and is available with last week's build 26040 uh, in the canary channel so that's another possible feature to look out for voice clarity which as mentioned will basically cancel echo, suppress background noise, and reduce reverberation in real time, just making your online meetings a lot smoother and effective with your online communications, be that during streaming or during your gaming sessions as well. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.